What's going on, brothers? It's Diamond Tail. You know the name? Got another video for you. It's your title. The Pit Wallet Crisis. Here goes. So, there are some trad cooks and some feminists who are saying that young men who are refusing to go to college is creating a mating crisis. And to that, I have to laugh because for brothers with their soul, for brothers who have eyes ears to hear, Brothers are taking a red pill. We know that this whole thing is bullshit because there is no meeting crisis. You hear? There is no meeting crisis. This right here is a pit wallet crisis. The young men who had a potential to be high earners are not on these college campuses because the feminists on these college campus have fought tooth and nail to make sure that the environment would be as radioactive, anti-male, and gynocentric as hum humanly possible. This is what they fought for. They got what they wanted. And now because the pet wallets aren't present, they aren't happy. You see, this is just more proof that these feminists have emotional short-term thinking. And it's also proof that these young men are getting watched this fucking game. You see, these feminists and these psychotic malcontents in higher education threw these young men in the bushes. And these young men understand that. They also understand that higher education, relationships, and marriage today fails the cost benefit analysis. A lot of them would rather enjoy the fruits of their labor by themselves. There are young men who are getting their IT certifications, learning industrial trades, and living their life. But somehow, that is creating a mating crisis. And to that, I gotta say it like this. For the track cooks, the feminists, and these sorry ass specimens who are basically asking, what happens to all the pit wallets? I gotta say it like this. You ran them off. You did that. And by the look of things, you're not going to have any grandkids. You're what the fuck I said. You're not going to have any grandkids. Because the six decades that they have spent running men and young men to the fucking ground has done nothing, has basically done no justice for their fertility. I know there are some specimens out there who are rejoicing about that bill that was passed down here in Texas, but I gotta say it like this, that's not gonna help anybody. That's not going to bring back the fertility of a certain demographic. It's not. And for these trollops and these track cooks who are complaining because their daughters can't find any mates, I say tough shit. They've had decades to put a stop to this gynocentric insanity, but they did nothing. And now they're paying for it. No pet wallets, no willing idiots, no workhorses, no nothing. You hear? They're gone. And it's working. Hence the reason why the chameleon activity has increased on social media. And that right there, as I've said in previous videos, that right there is just desperation. All they're doing is parroting our talking points because they're hoping that they can get the workhorses or a pet wallet to run back to the plantation and wipe them up. Most of them aren't worth marrying. Most of them aren't worth procreating with. 
the attitude suck and many of them today have become sociopaths and sociopaths don't really belong out in the world sociopaths belong in one of two places the cell block or the cemetery and you want to know what the best metaphor for sociopath is a vampire that's what these trolls today have turned into vampires you see they can do all this grimy shit to you they can say and do all of this grimy shit but if you hold up a mirror at them they can't stand to see the reflection they hate that it's the reason why a certain image consultant there are there's basically a huge number of Cleon bitches who are trying to get him canceled because he's telling the fucking truth but that tells you a lot about them but that's a topic for a future video I want to focus on this mating crisis or this pit wallet crisis so check this out for you young men out there who've gotten watched to the game you young men out there who are responsible for this pit wallet crisis wait let me take that back you're not responsible for this pit wallet crisis the feminists and the psychotic malcontents only in these college campuses are responsible for that because they ran you off they threw you in the bushes i'm talking about things like yes means yes all of these legal snares and traps that they put in place so that they can ruin your life for their own sick amusement. And that's what it comes down to. They're not pursuing these legal snares and traps and putting them in place to actually help women. They're doing this for their own sick amusement. If they destroy you, they're happy. And those are the earmarks of an unstable person. Mm hmm so for you young men focus on skills and abilities stack your green strengthen your hands and keep your head on the swivel during these perilous times you don't owe these track cooks and these feminists a fucking thing we don't owe them anything they wanted us going from those college campuses well we're going fuck them it is what it is. And as for the serial paint sniffers, the track cooks, and the feminists who have a problem with what I say and how I say it, you can go fuck yourself with a cactus. That's what you can do. Facts don't care about your feelings. Young men are getting wise to the game, and I'm going to encourage them to continue to get wise. Mm hmm. It is what it is. This is Lana Mictail. That's all I got, brothers. If you like the video, I see you in the comments here for you to subscribe. If you're doing this, my channel, you find a tip jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is Blitz Icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know it's real. You know it's in going away. Liberal S. Watch BM. As for these feminists, these trad cooks, and those who are complaining and asking where all the pit walls going, give them nothing. This is Mictail PSA. Welcome to the tape. See you soon.